Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay, so I have a new banger, a new exclusivity uh, will definitely be notified. So, the last time I actually mentioned another um YouTube boxing channel was three, four years ago during the, the era of Bas Bus between Tim Wilder and Tim Joshua. Of course, me being Tim Joshua all day and still am. But I, I'm now also a Tim Wilder because Wilder has actually reviewed um has displayed that he's a man that is scared of no one turkey alashik actually made me believe in wada's words because wada when he got a chance he worked with turkey alashik and against anybody not trying to pick any easy fight and stuff like that so wada has got my respect and i will always respect him we know what happened the years prior to that and stuff like that he also says so but there is this guy the owner his name is ness of the boxing voice the owner of the boxing voice whom i will call the no boxing voice okay he says something in a recent uh one of his recent videos um live videos um on youtube you know why they were discussing the prize drop pay-per-view price drop you know the Dubois um, um, Joshua fight um, is about 20 bucks uh, less than 20 bucks in America the American audience will pay less than 20 bucks for it I said 1999 that's the 20 bucks then um, he was very like kind of annoyed I don't want to play I don't want to play the, uh, the of an audio or video right here so I don't get a, a strike or copyright you know infringement stuff right now you know what i mean these guys when you talk about them they tend to want to take your channel down you know i have experience in, you know in regards to that now he said something that actually made me very hungry he said joshua is not a marquee fighter he's not a marquee fighter in the u.s he's not a household name he's not a marquee fighter like javante davis and canelo Alvarez. That actually got me very annoyed because if I should, if if my memory is right, Joshua sold out um, the arena in the US, MGM Arena, M no MSG Arena in the, in the in in New York, right? Against uh, and Virginia, of course, it sold out because Joshua was set to fight um, uh, Jeremy B. Miller, who then popped dirty, but still a lot of people still kept their ticket. Joshua, I remember then, the hardcore box only the hardcore boxing fans knew who Andrew Junior um was. Andrew Junior wasn't known by the casual. That's facts. Andrew Junior wasn't. In fact, people even ridicule that fight and say, "Oh, this guy is so big and so a fat kid. Why are you fighting this guy? Why can't you get someone else and stuff like?" And it's funny how Ness of the boxing voice. Don't even know what being a marquee fighter is. Okay, marquee is an American English. Okay, um, so marquee the meaning of marquee informer, well known, so well known or well publicized as to attract large audiences. So a marquee fighter is somebody that attracts large aud audiences. Well known, Joshua is well known in America, but he might not be a household name yet. But he's well known, even to Kaju. Love Kaju's known Joshua is. And there's this thing about Ness. He's so biased towards the American. Uh, if he hasn't seen a fighter fight, if any fighter from another, another uh, country or continent that I haven't fought in America, for him, it like not. It doesn't matter. And you call yourself the boxing voice. 
you can't be the boxing voice if you if your focus is only on Latinos or on American fighters. You're no boxing voice, bro. You are just American boxing voice. But America, Latin America boxing, that's what you are because I can I can categorically say this guy don't know shit about boxing outside the U.S. or Latin America. That's fact. Joshua, whom you called a no marquee fighter, sold out MSG Arena in New York. Sold out. He sold it out, okay, five years ago. And he said, yeah, he sold it out. He fought there and never returned. He's not a must for him to fight in America. If he wants, he can do that. Joshua, I guarantee you, will still sell out at MSG tomorrow if he fights. Joshua is such a huge name. Joshua is bigger than Canelo worldwide. He's well known. In fact, I don't see, you know, I also hate the fact that even though I'm not from the UK, I've never lived there. You know, of course, I got family members there, but I've never lived there. But I also know that not everyone, not every fighter in the UK can sell out Wembley Stadium. I don't think Javonta Davis can sell out even the O2 Arena fighting fighting anybody. It's not happening. You have to fight in a known fighter. But Joshua can sell out O2 Arena with 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 a, with a nobody. He can pick up some, some random guy in the street and sell it out. But Joshua lost. He still got the size. The the side the, the crowd size is still on his side. The people just love the guy for who he is because he's not a cocky guy. He doesn't present himself as this rich flamboyant. Like he doesn't he doesn't flaunt his money all around and just do things like the way dumb fighters do. Of course, Mayweather is a guy that does that because he is a showman. Joshua is a guy that fights, go to his house, relax with his family, and just do his normal thing. He's not a guy that you see doing extravagant things, basically. So, like I said before, Canelo is the pay-per-view king in America or in Latin America. Outside that re region, he's not anywhere close to Joshua. Facts, on a global stage. And it's funny how a UK guy came on the show, the show and basically called him out on his beard. And he was like defending himself and stuff like that. He, you might not have heard of this guy, so you might not have seen a lot of this guy's fight. But it doesn't mean you should diminish their, their, their star power in their various regions. America, yes, is where a lot of the money is. Um, depending on your, your the weight category that you are because as an heavyweight in america you like the la wilder is the last is was the last heavyweight is the last heavyweight heavyweight uh draw in america physically Wilder can draw crowds and stuff. but he himself didn't make a lot of money like that because if um if the americans got behind water fully i think what will be will be a much bigger name than he is now but I understand the reason why they didn't because Wilder is a very outspoken guy. He's that guy that, you know, there's just something about Wilder that might scare some people. Might make some people scared. Even though Wilder is a good guy. But it's just it's just something different. Joshua is that humble guy. You know, if Wilder was were to be from the UK, he would have a lot of haters as well. But at least he would be selling out um, uh, stadium. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe be huge arena. But he wouldn't have had all the time he had in fighting low-level positions like in America. He would have at least be fighting solid fighters and probably lose is one of those things. Chizara is a bigger name in the UK than Wilder. However, if Chizara were to fight Wilder, I think he would do that would be a stadium fight as well. I don't think Wembley, but a stadium fight. One of the stadiums in the UK, you know. So, next of the boxing voice, I understand the reason why the guy of no, I will call him of no boxing voice because this guy hate towards Joshua is is like is uh, is well documented. You know, it's been a long time coming, and I understand the reason why Turkey Lashik doesn't wanna 
grand dem an interview yet. Sir Kalashik listens listens to every podcast, every boxing podcast. He knows who is who. He knows who is really about the love of the sport and who is about the cloud. Ness of the boxing voice is about the cloud. He loves um like there are some fights that you know um I watch you know from America I don't even know who they are but I just watch it because I love boxing and then these fighters later become well known names not established but well known names you know I remember the first time I watched a Danny Jacobs fight I was like who is this guy and then years later he became you know a well known name. Jared Davis for the UK. You know, um Flo Mayweather brought him there and stuff like that. It was a good like he got a I mean, he, he performed well. Davis is a good is a is a is a is a, is a, he has a star power. But he's been fighting no, no he's been fighting no bodies, bro. The Ryan Garcia fight, we know Ryan Garcia was brain in that fight. The guy had, like the guy couldn't even do anything. He looked like a He looked like somebody that had been starving for years when he fought uh, Javante Davis. That's bad. So, the this biasness of Ness is 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 so is so pathetic. Joshua Joshua remains the mo the number one face of boxing globally. When we talk about globally, we are not talking about just fighting in Mexico or fighting in America or fighting a in the corner of America of or South Amer- or South America no we are talking about fighting in various venues around the globe and selling it out selling them out Joshua has been to America he sold it out he sold out multiple stadium uh, events in the UK is fought in Saudi Arabia sold out you know what i mean so don't compare Canelo might have more money than Joshua because you know, Canelo turned pro when he was 15. But yet, if you go on Forbes list, you still see Joshua is not far ahead of Canelo. And Joshua didn't start boxing until he was 18 or 19. So you see? And I'm not comparing them for sure, but I'm just saying don't don't play other people the fight fighters from other countries because you don't know who they are as a boxing fan you call yourself a boxing voice you must watch every of these fights with an open mind and then see how good they are because anytime this guy here there's just something about this guy he has a some sort of some sort of disdain for other fighters from another, another country from other countries like anytime he hears a British fighter oh he just he says also crap and then The same with other fighters from different uh, countries. So, so because they are not Americans, all of a sudden, yeah, they are this, they are that. Nah, nobody knows who Jimmy Davis, Jimmy Davis is, you know, in in most places around the globe. And nobody like the guy looks like is a midget, bro. When we were talking about guys, we talk about giants. You know, guys of Canelo. Canelo is not um, uh, is not a giant, but at least he has a decent height you know so i don't know man i think this guy is a bit is very bitter towards joshua and turkey lashik you know turkey lashik is getting love because it's funny how this guy is all of us like you pay 90 bucks 80 bucks 70 bucks for pay-per-view for a fight and there is someone who is who is trying to like who is actually reducing those price like like making reducing the price by 80% yet you still complain so are you saying Joshua is not worth $20 like so the the British uh boxing fans they pay to watch American fighters and at 5 a.m. they are even more they are more they are more of a boxing fan They are more of an hardcore boxing fans than the Americans themselves. The Americans are like, are like, are festive people. They like events. They like shows. You know, the show has to be huge. You know, the people have to be known before they support. At least the British, despite, you know, uh, football being the biggest sport in the world and being the biggest in the UK, at least they still have time for their fighters. 
of course there will never be another Anthony Joshua in the UK. There will be someone similar, but right now I don't see so I don't in the new crops of heavyweights or boxers from the UK. I don't see an Anthony Joshua in any of them. Maybe Moses Tauma, but he doesn't have the accomplishment of Joshua yet. First, he didn't go to the Olympics. Joshua is an Olympic gold medalist, bro. You know. Turning pro, becoming a world champion, conquering the world. Now he he wants to be a, a three-time world champion. Do you know how difficult that is, man? I think this guy should give Joshua his due credit and stop. Like, come on, say Joshua is not a marquee fighter. Are you kidding me? That just shows this guy don't follow. He doesn't. Know, he doesn't really know shit about boxing outside the US or the or Latin America. Facts. So, don't call yourself the boxing voice. This is the reason why a lot of his peers have more subscribers than him. He should be at, at least the work ethic. His work ethic is crazy. I respect it, but he should be. He should be having at least over, like, let's say, over um eight hundred thousand or a million of subscriber by now. But he's stuck where he is because he only focuses on fighters from a certain zone, and you call yourself the boxing voice. That is not how to be. I know. I know the guy doesn't care about anybody's opinion, including mine. But I have to speak my mind. That's what it is. So, oh, you're not a boxing voice. You are no boxing voice. That's facts. Still less guys.